Hello, today is the 29th and we are still in quarantine here in France. Uh, I would like to share with you a text from 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, uh, verse 2. Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. So our question for today is how can we have grace coming into our lives as we as we live, as we uh, go on with our lives, you know, daily lives? Because what the wonderful thing about uh, salvation is that God gives us salvation. He, he makes us to, to be born again, but he also keeps on helping us to 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 change and to to learn how to walk with Jesus and and peter is talking about uh, how grace will increase and peace as well how grace and peace will increase in our lives as we get as we get to know him as we as we grow in a relationship with uh, with god and as i said uh, he saved us and he has given us the the power the the strength to 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 follow him to walk with him Jesus will never invite us to walk with him without giving us the strength to do so. If he if he's inviting us to run, he, he has already given us two legs. He has given us this, the power and the strength that we need in our body to do so, to, to walk and to run. And uh, in this text, Peter is telling us that the same God that uh, came to us, uh, taught our, our our lives and saved us he has he gave us he says in verse in verse 3 his divine power has given us everything we need for for life and and goodness he has given us everything we need to live with him to walk with him to go where he wants us to go we, uh, everything we need through our knowledge of him the more we know him the more we have this grace increasing in our lives and we'll be able to 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 walk and then even to run with him because he has given us the strength and um the result that in us the transformation that is going to 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 come into our lives is is um is written in verse four four through this he has given us every every great and precious promises so that uh, through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape corruption in the world. The corruption is, is if you live like um, bananas, I just, we just did that uh, the other day, because, you know, with, during the quarantine, we tend to buy uh, two, three, four, five kilos of bananas instead of one, because we don't know if, if there is any, there's going to be any left in the supermarket, um, because people are desperate and... Uh, and then we just I just bought two um too many bananas and uh and we left them on the table and then a few days they were going rotten. That's corruption, is this destruction, this uh that happens to people's lives because of sin, because of death. But God's glory has uh, grace and glory has provided for us uh, a better life, a life without corruption, and the only way uh, of uh, living this life without corruption in the world is through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. The more we know him, the more we escape this this emptiness, this corruption in the world. And that comes from his grace. Grace is increased in our lives through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So the uh, the more you know him, the more you know how to walk, how to live like him and walking here is synonym of uh, of living so you walk you know him and you know how he walks he'll teach you how to walk and you escape the destruction the corruption that there is in this world